Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Daily Disciple channel. My name is Isaac and this channel is really all about helping you become an authentic, inspired and passionate disciple of Christ. And today we're going to be jumping into the topic of how do I change? How do I change? Like that's a big topic. How do I change as a person? Because we're always talking about, look, hey, you need to change this aspect of yourself. How do you change this? You need to change this aspect of yourself. You know, you need to be nice or you need to be kinder, you need to be happier, you need to be like, but how do you actually change? So there's been many theories in the history of the world and more recently on how humans change. So there's a guy named B.F. Skinner. He was in the, you know, um, beginning, one of the founders of kind of a psychological thought. And he kind of came up with this idea of behaviorism or a form of behaviorism in which you you'd uh, apply positive and negative reinforcements to reinforce a, a, a behavior that you wanted. So let's say I wanted a dog to like walk through a hoop or something like that. Maybe I would have, you know, I'd coax him to go through the hoop and every time he went through the hoop, I'd give him a treat, right? And that's a positive reinforcement. So even though that seems a little bit out there, you're like, okay, what does this have to do with how do we change as humans? We tend to do that with humans as well. If we do something, if a human, somebody does something we like, we often kind of like reinforce that by giving something that they like. Even with children, you'll see this a lot when raising children. A child does something good. They get a treat, right? They get a lollipop or sucker or something like that. And, or if they do something bad, they're gonna get a punishment. You go to timeout, you're gonna go, you know, you can get grounded, that kind of thing. So I wanna dive into, honestly, what is the biblical approach to change? So when we talk about change in a biblical context, I think honestly, we should start at this idea of justification. So justification is when you come to face faith in Christ, when you are justified based on Jesus' work on the cross, your sins have been paid, and now that you are in Christ, you are born again by the Spirit of God, you're on this path of sanctification. And sanctification is this idea of progressive change. So you're going to continue to change to become more like Jesus. Important verse here from 2 Corinthians 3.18. And we all with unveiled faces holding the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. You see, we're being transformed into the likeness of Jesus, but not by our own strength and power and will, but by God. So you can see the difference between these two kind of models. Um, one is really looking to this kind of like a methodology um, of really changing people, using these reinforcements to change people. It's a method, it's a tactic. You want to be effective in changing. Well, sanctification is not, it's not like we're just instituting all these different methods and tactics in order to get ourselves to become more like Jesus. It can't be out of our own, merely uh, our, our own will, because it wasn't out of our own will that we came to Christ anyway. It was Christ drawing us to himself through the power of his spirit. And it is continue, and it continues to be his Holy Spirit that continues to form us into the image of his son. So that's why I want to really uh, caution you when you think of when there's people that say oh look you know get get more sanctified real quick use these special tactics you know because it's a lifelong process it's a lifelong dedication to being a disciple of christ through the power of the holy spirit he begins to transform us so there's a couple things here that i, I want to keep in your mind as we're talking about sanctification i just want to encourage you with a couple things here as you're walking along this path of sanctification and changing into the image of christ through his transforming power so we have a verse here from james 1 5 if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask god who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you see wisdom is so important to ask for a wise person will seek and hunger for righteousness and will turn aside any kind of selfish desires or selfish motives. And we want to be wise. We want to be able to discern those things and continue to follow Christ. So the first thing is ask. Second thing is seek. And we have a verse here from Psalm 910. And it says, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. I want to just encourage you that if you are 
if you're struggling to maybe read your Bible, if you're struggling to pray, I want to just encourage you that it is through relationship, relationship with others, relationship with God, that God will begin to change us. And if you feel kind of like in a dry season, like you're just kind of stagnant in your faith, like you're, you're not hot, you're not cold, but it's just kind of like ordinary, I want to encourage you, seek God, seek Him, seek His face. Because through that relationship, that is the means by which God will continue to transform you. That's how he'll change you. So I want to encourage you, seek Jesus. From Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your, on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. You see, there's a lot of things in our lives that aren't going to be easy fixes. As much as we want to change and look like Jesus right away, we want to just everything to work out perfectly in our lives and all our sinful tendencies to be reversed and all our, our pull towards selfishness. And But the facts are we're going to become discouraged because it's not easy. It isn't easy. We're always in a battle. But what God doesn't want us to do is trust in ourselves, trust in our own will to overcome these things. He wants us to trust in Him. He wants us to trust in Him and His power to help us overcome sin and follow Him and follow Him in that process of sanctification. So continue to trust Christ to help you overcome sin. So what I want to leave you with is this idea that God wants us to change. He wants us to change. But he doesn't want us to be looking to all these different kind of behavioristic models of change. Like that we're going to just kind of um, transform our behavior by our own will. True transformation of the heart at the heart level can only come by the power of God. So that's why we need to stop looking at quick fixes to changing others and changing ourselves. Fi trying to fix our problems with just these quick fixes or we got to be looking to Christ. We got to be looking towards him because he only has the power to transform our lives. So I want to encourage you to continue to ask, to seek his face and to trust him to continue to change us into the image of his son. Um, if you guys like this video, if you like the content that we cover on this channel, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, share it with your friends if you find any one of these videos particularly helpful. Um, and uh, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this topic. I know it's a big topic, but I think it's an important one because we want to be following Christ as authentic disciples. And sanctification is a big part of that. So if you have some thoughts on that, let me know. I'd love to hear them. And I'll be back next week with another video. See you guys then.